Hey, Wendy, uh, thanks for the email. So let me show you how some of our other clients use it um, as a CRM system. Um, let me just open up a client record here. Let's just go here to number six, receivable clients. And I'll go to my friend Jessica here. There's a bunch of information on this screen, right? Um, you know, who they are, the contacts for the company, uh, any contract terms. Uh, the next one is that they have some alternate billing addresses. Uh, this is the tab I think that you're going to be interested in. So this, I, I haven't counted them, but there's a lot of fields here, right? And so if if you want to use it as a, as a CRM system without having a separate one, you know, and you have a follow-up date that I want to call this person tomorrow, uh, the thing that they're interested in, uh, and we'll just do uh, add a third one here, uh, bath remodel. We'll save that and so what you know we'll just make this more your business so they're interested in the bathroom model how do we find them it was a customer referral uh, where are they located uh, you could put size of projects in here so you could put that in there uh, and then you have all these other things uh, down here that you can use as well and so um, let's put the salesperson in in this case it's Carlos um, the possible amount of the sale is you know fifteen thousand um, dollars the date you received the lead, all this information is in here, who the contact is, who the reference is. Um, I, I don't know if anybody uses greetings anymore, but you could. Uh, if they responded to a mail piece, what mail pieces they respond to, uh, et cetera. And then you have some user defined fields down here, just check boxes. And, and these can be changed as well. So before I, I started this, I went in and I created a um, thing here called a query called sales call list. And if I just run this, I'm just going to I have to say, hey, you know what? I only want to see the ones Carlos is on, or I only want to see callbacks that are scheduled between last week and this week, uh, in case I'm behind uh, and they haven't been updated. And if I run that, here's my call list. So Jessica is the client. Uh, the sale's fifteen thousand dollars. This is who I'm supposed to call. There's their email address if I need it. Uh, if I wanted to put more information on here, like what product they're inter interested in, simple to do. And so if I come in here, whoops get my mouse to work and I come in here and I scroll down products right there I'll just add that to the list and finish this and now if I were to run this whoops where did it go oh the product is uh, annual maintenance I still had annual maintenance in there. Um, anyway, so you would see what product they're interested in right there. So all those can be customized the way you want. And so pretty simple. The reason a lot of our clients, and we used to use this ourselves till we graduated up to ACT, uh, it works really well. It allows you to produce mailing lists that allow you to do a lot of things. And you know, you can scan documents in and throw it in there. So if they gave you a picture of what they wanted it to look like, you could scan that in there and it's there. And then you have this big notepad uh, so every time I talk to them, and this is the way most of our clients do this, as I come in here, I hit my uh, enter key, and I come in here and say insert today's date, and I created, as I told you in the demo, my typing is not one of my strong suits, and I'm not going to go back and fix it, I created a custom video, or you sent um, carpet samples. All those things I can type in here. Okay, uh, I will fix that spelling error there. And so that's there now. So whoever picks this up in the future, they've opened this up, they can see the last thing you did. And if you call them today, you can put right in here uh, that the date you call them back. I call them back on 9 slash 24 to 15. So I'm not sure how stringent you are, but you know, if the owner wanted to see how many calls Wendy made yesterday, he could actually run a list and say how many calls have yesterday's callback date on it. So, yeah, it can be used. It works really well. Um, you know, and then the best part is it's included in the price. And so there's nothing extra here um, and not much to learn it either. Hey, you need something else, Wendy, give me a call. And I, um, I am in the office, uh, I think, most of next week, uh, except for Wednesday from probably about 10 to 2. Uh, I'm, I got a meeting, but other than that, I'll be in Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday if you need me. Thanks.